Every day, Wellington Water provides on average 140 million litres of water to Wellingtonians across the region. That's around 400,000 people consuming 56 Olympic swimming pools full of water every day. What most people don't realise is just how much time, money and love is put into bringing them precious, safe drinking water. Each time we turn on the tap, we take it for granted. But getting safe water every day is not that easy. So where does our water come from and how do we get it to you? Our water comes from three intake areas. One is at the top of the Hutt River, Te Awa Kairangi. The second is groundwater from the Waifitu Aquifer. And the final one is from the joint flow of the Wainuiomata and Orongorongo Rivers. We have two large storage lakes at Te Marua, which we use to supplement our supply when we can't take as much water from the rivers or the aquifer. The rivers have special catchment areas that are protected to keep pollution to a minimum. They are upstream of housing, away from people and protected from pests. But of course, it's still possible there could be dirt and nasties in the water that can make people very sick, like Cryptosporidium, Giardia and E. coli. So we need to treat the water to make sure it's safe to drink at one of our four water treatment plants, Te Marua, Waterloo, Wainuiomata and Gear Island. We do this by using a combination of filtration, coagulation and flocculation, ultraviolet light and chlorination. The aquifer relies on natural filtering processes below the ground to treat water sourced from the upstream catchment area that feeds it. We need to protect the aquifer from contamination. Then, the treated drinking water travels through a network of thousands of kilometres of underground pipes to reach all the people that live and work in Wellington, Porirua, Lower Hutt and Upper Hutt. What happens when water reaches a hill? There are 83 pump stations that pump water up hills and help to fill our 129 reservoirs so that you're able to get the water you need when you want it. As our cities and population grows, we will have to be even more mindful about the amount of water we are using. Because we rely on rivers and the aquifer, we need to be careful about the amount of water we use and we have to manage this very carefully so that there are no negative impacts on the environment. So it's really important that each and every one of us loves every drop now and for the future.